HIV does not make people dangerous to know. You can shake their hands and give them a hug. Heaven knows they need it. I think the biggest disease the world suffers from in this day and age is the disease of people feeling unloved. I know that I can give love for a minute, for half an hour, for a day, for a month, but I can give. I am very happy to do that, and I want to do that. I don't want expensive gifts, I don't want to be bought. I have everything I want. I just want someone to be there for me, to make me feel safe and secure. Carry out a random act of kindness, with no expectation of reward, safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. I don't want to be a country that is only known for its financial wizardry, I want to be known for its kindness, compassion, and integrity. Carry out a random act of kindness, with no expectation of reward, safe in the knowledge that one day someone might do the same for you. I want to walk into a room, be it a hospital for the dying or a hospital for the sick children, and feel that I am needed. I want to do, not just to be. Nothing brings me more happiness than trying to help the most vulnerable people in society. It is a goal and an essential part of my life, a kind of destiny. Whoever is in distress can call on me. I will come running wherever they are. I'm not a political animal but I think the biggest disease this world suffers from in this day and age is the disease of people feeling unloved, and I know that I can give love for a minute, for half an hour, for a day, for a month, but I can give, I'm very happy to do that, and I want to do that. I think the British people need someone in public life to give affection, to make them feel important, to support them, to give them light in their dark tunnels. I see it as a possibly unique role, and yes, I've had difficulties, as everybody has witnessed over the years, but let's now use the knowledge I've gathered to help other people in distress. I found myself being more and more involved with people who were rejected by society, with drug addicts, alcoholism, battered this, battered that, and I found an affinity there. Being constantly in the public eye gives me a special responsibility, particularly that of using the impact of photographs to transmit a message, to sensitize the word to an important cause, to defend certain values. I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path, and I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. When no one listens to you, or when you feel no one's listening to you, all sorts of things start to happen, for instance, you have so much pain inside yourself that you try and hurt yourself on the outside. It was a symptom of what was going on in my marriage, I was crying out for help but giving the wrong signals, and people were using my bulimia as a coat on a hanger, they decided that was the problem. Diana was unstable.